Remove blood. Can I give you three things? Three ways of removing blood. Next time you know how to get it out. Rinse the area with cold water. Then put salt on the stain. Rub it in. And then wash it. Number two. Rinse the area with cold water. Then scrub the stain with shampoo. Then wash it. Number three. If the stain is not coming out with the salt or the shampoo, then pour a little ammonia on the stain that should not damage the fabric. Don't use bleach because bleach will damage the fabric and then you wash it. However, once blood is set in, it's impossible to remove. It seems that many people are trying to remove blood from the gospel. Jesus! Jesus! A few years ago, a well-known Protestant denomination decided that no reference to blood should be in their hymn book because it was considered to be offensive and outdated. All right. It's called slaughterhouse religion. We have no need for that, mm, Jesus. they say. Oh, Lord. So they took their hymn book and they took out nothing but the blood of Jesus. They took out their power in the blood. And they took out the blood will never lose its power. When you take those uh, particular the hymn, or when you take the blood out of the Bible, then we have no salvation. Right. Many gospel presentation makes point of not talking about the blood. I thank God that we not only talk about the blood, but we are covered yeah. by the blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They mention the resurrection, but not the death. You can't have resurrection without death first. having death first. Go ahead. Amen. Yes, Lord. They talk of Christ's payment, but not what it was. Many preachers get squeamish Go ahead. at speaking about the blood. They like to preach on the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They like to preach about the power of faith. Mm -hmm. They like to preach of the power of the testimony, uh -huh. but rarely preach the blood of the Lamb. on the power of the blood. Okay. It is impossible to remove the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. You cannot move, remove the blood of Christ from the gospel of Christ mm -hmm. because it is set in the gospel. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right now. Uh, Take your time. John said, Whosoever eat my flesh and drink my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus said that in John, declared in 6 54. Now, Jesus, you remember he sent out 70, and he had spoke the word to them and said, Go in the name and cast out devils and uh, heal the sick and the lame and the dumb. And they came back and they were rejoicing. Even the devil is subject to us. Praise God. He said the blind eyes are open, the dumb eyes. I mean the dumb ears are the blind eyes are open, the dumb ears are unstopped. The lame's walking. Amen. And they were happy and Jesus said you were happy over the wrong day. Make sure your name is written. Don't be happy because of that, but be happy because your name is written down in the Lamb. Damn, book of life. How many today Come on. are happy because Thank your you, name Ghost. is written down? Hallelujah. Amen. The choir sing good. Amen. 
but I'm not happy about that. All right. All right. Amen. I enjoy it, but I'm, I'm not happy. That's it. I've seen lame folks walking, but uh, I ain't rejoicing over that. Right. Amen. But I'm rejoicing Woo! because my name hey, hey, is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. Jesus. Golden hey. Jesus. Amen. Praise hey. the Lord because you can live all your life. All my life. All right. And then if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that's it. Go oh, hey. ahead. Amen. You're going to hell. Going to hell. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Nobody in them won't go to hell. This is the mystery. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Woo. Who shall eat my flesh and drink in my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up in the last day. Yes, and for as much as ye know, Jesus, this is Peter talking, that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, but with the precious oh. blood oh. of Christ. As a lamb without blemish and without spot. Ephesians Paul said, in whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. In Paul, John said in Revelation, and they overcame him. Talking about the devil. By the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives right. unto death. <laughs> Why is the teaching of the blood so important? Well, well, let's look at Hebrews. The book of Hebrews was written to Hebrews who were Christians or thinking about becoming Christians. Uh -huh. These Jews were familiar with the Old Testament sacrificial system. Yeah. They knew about the blood of bulls and of goats. The writers refer to these again as uh, typifying Christ and his sacrifice. God is not recognizing my house at 816 Teal Street. He's not recognizing your car. He's not recognizing Go Your ahead. clothes. Go ahead, Bishop, please. The only thing that he recognized is blood. Hey. Hey. And if you are not covered hey. Woo, hey. Woo, with the blood, okay. he's passing by. Oh, that's the name of it. Oh. Pass you remember, over. praise the Lord, you remember that um, uh, the 10th plague was the death of the firstborn? That's it, Passover. Amen. Amen. They were instructed, they were instructed how to, to take a lamb and, and put him up. Amen. That, uh, 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 one without blemish, without spot. And then kill him and take the blood and uh, put it on the doorpost. And that night when the death angel comes, amen. When he see the blood, right. he's gonna pass over. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Not when he see that there's a priest in the house. Right. Not when he see oh God, hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Moses or Aaron or right. Myron or those people, but when I see the blood, yeah. and I know that we have titles and we trade, we trade it now with testimonies for titles. Amen. Oh, Folks, yeah. not only don't hard to tell you anything about God now, but go tell you now, I'm a deacon. Preach God. Come on. I'm a preacher. Preach. I'm a mother. I'm a missionary. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, Amen. The world ain't care nothing about that. Come on. They want to know about Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Anybody here want to know about Jesus? Hey. Oh, 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 praise the Lord. So hey. Hey. When, when, when I see the blood. Hey. The blood. Hey. I'll pass over. Somebody here today are not covered by the blood. And you're in danger of hell fire. I don't care how good you can do what you do in church. Preachers, I don't care how good we can preach. Missionaries teach, deacons teach, mother, mother. 
But if you are not covered by the blood, and it's nothing but the blood. It's not religion. It's not denomination. It's not Church of God in Christ. It's not Baptist. It's not Methodist. It's not Catholic. I'm covered by this. If you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, you'll be a Church of God in Christ. Remember in hell. All these recognizing it blood. We don't got too big. Have your way. We don't got too big for it. We turn around and the blesser. Amen. We are shunning the blesser. Looking at the blessing. Be holy, go. Be holy, go. You got to remember, y'all, that. Amen. When we had the outhouse at the back of the shotgun house, only running water we had was running to the well to get the water and run back in the house with it. We forgot the bounce. When we didn't have anything. Some of you don't know nothing about it, but you ought to go ask your mama. Go ask Granny. You think that because Granny and Papa doing pretty good now. But you don't know where they came from. It was the blood of Jesus that got me my house. It was the blood of Jesus that got me everything I had. Nothing but the blood. There have never been 
that will never mm. see Jesus. blood like this. Mm. 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 It was offered. Huh? Thank you, Lord. For you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus mm. is different Jesus. from the blood in the old covenant. The blood of the goats, bulls, heifers, doves, turtle doves. It's different. It only lasted for the year. But the blood of Jesus is forever. Once you're covered, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. You don't have to kill Jesus no more. All right. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When we think about the sin question, there are many and some that we dare to speak about. As awful as sin is, there is no sin. Y'all catch this right here. There is no sin that the blood can't clean. <laughs> Some of you sitting here, I don't care what you've done. That's right, that's right. I don't care how bad it was. That's right, that's right. That's it. Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen. Amen, Lord. You can, the blood can clean. Clean! Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And that's the thing with a lot of sinners that think, well, I've done uh, too much bad stuff. Yeah. And he won't even consider. Listen. Mm. You can blow somebody's brains out mm. outdoor Jesus. and run in here and get saved <laughs> and get forgiveness. Right. But you still got to go to jail. That's, right. that's it. <laughs> that's, it yeah. that's, that's absolutely right. It don't deny the consequence. Yeah. You reap the consequence. Right. But if you don't. Amen. <laughs> if you don't come and ask for forgiveness, not only are you going to jail, but you're going to hell. Mm, mm. Amen, somebody. Amen. So then, I don't care. And here's the thing mm. that I like about God, preachers. Whatever we've done. Whatever we've done. When you ask God for forgiveness, yeah. Right. Yeah. He takes your sins and throw them in the sea of forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgetfulness. Amen. Amen. And remember them no more. Amen. All right. He's not following you around, you know, when you've done this. <laughs> that's right. That's the devil. When you've done this. Amen. That's, the devil follows you around. That's it. Jesus. Even though you've been forgiven. Hey! The devil will follow you around. Jesus. And bring up your past and try to make you remember the bad stuff you've done. But you got to tell the devil. Yes. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's been forgiven. Jesus. Hey! And whenever the devil tries to make you remind you of your past, you tell him, yeah, but I know your future. <laughs> My past is gone. And that's when I refuse to allow people to drag up. Amen. That what I've done in the past, it's been forgiven. Look at your neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor, it's not what I used to do. It's not what I used to, it's do. Not what I used to be. It's not what I used but it's what I am now. It's what I, am it's what now. I do now. And I do it for the Lord. I'm being what I am to the Lord. Now clap your hands and praise the Lord. Don't let nobody run you down. Because of your past. And you still have to stop dragging your past along. Of the 
the glory of God. Ain't no such thing as a good sinner. Oh, God. Oh, I wasn't so bad. You still going to hell. Oh, God. Oh, God. I wasn't no bad sinner. Amen. A sinner's a sinner. Oh, you may have never drank a drop of liquor. You may have never smoked a cigarette. Now no funny weed. Left-handed cigarettes. Amen. You might not have never done all of that, but praise the Lord. Whatever you was doing, amen, you was on your way to hell. Amen. Look at somebody tell them, amen. Paul even said, I was the chief of sinners. Yes, sir, he said. Uh, but only the masters grow. <laughs> there was a light that came and shone. I wonder if anybody here got a testimony. We always talk about Paul and Peter, James and John. But can you talk about Joyce? Can you talk about Andrea? What he's doing, what she's doing. When you've been with Jesus, you ought to be able to tell somebody. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Born of a virgin. Yeah. Let me 
sings of him. Jesus. Jesus. The Father knew that from the sins of Adam, man became unrighteous, became a sinner. Oh, blessed man, his blood was contaminated because of sin. When he ate of the forbidden fruit, the Spirit of God left him. He died of spiritual death. Yes. And therefore, the reason God didn't use Joseph. Glory, 